Hello guys, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Website Tutor. First of all, I am glad to tell you that we are about to hit 4K watch time. In my last video, I started a new series to show you guys that the work which I developed and the site is an industrial equipment auction website. If you don't watch, you can see that video by clicking on this pop-up. Today, I will teach you about navbar. So open your visual studio code. First of all, save this file with control S. In that folder which you are using, I am using you in e directory YouTube slash bootstrap. In this bootstrap folder, I have already pasted the bootstrap offline links. Give a valid name to this file. As I told you first, we will learn about navbar. So I am typing here navbar dot html. Now html ratio 5 to type all that structure of web development. In head tag, paste that bootstrap offline links. Now here in body tag, open a div. In this div tag, open a new tag of nav and give a class. navbar space navbar default space navbar expand space sm space bg dash warning Fix top. Now close this tag. Let me explain these tags. Navbar means this is navbar. Navbar expand to set the navbar on full width and responsive. SM small. BG war warning. BG means background. Warning a color code which is near about to yellow fix top fix top is a command when you scroll down a web nav bar remains on top with the help of fix top in this nav tag open a tag of ul which is an order list remember space class sorry Never nav. In this ul tag means another list tag. Open a new tag with a. When we use a tag, it means we have to link that file or that line or that text or we have to add a image basically for linking we use a tag class nav link to clarify that we have to link that li list item in this nav bar after that inverted commas
here we have to type that file name or that div id name if you don't want to link you can just type hash i am typing now hash and after that i will link a file and show you also now in this a tag open a li tag which is list item and give a class nav item to clarify that this is nav item list item in nav bar text light text light mean text color light and now here we have to type the text which we want to show on nav bar so first of all i'm typing home after that a tag i'm typing another nav bar list item I am now copying this line and paste it after that to save some time and change just this text and the last one and change the text to show never now save this file control s and go to that directory where you save this here you can see navbar open with in google chrome here you can see home about us our team contact us when i click on this nothing same here and also here i am using my sliders class which i already covered if you don't watch that you can see above a pop up click on that and you can see that video start copying from here control c and go to that nav bar html and in this after that tip tag paste that with control v after that you have to paste also the links which i told you in slider that slider have some specific links you control s save it and check the file now now you can see the slider after that we have to link that files which i told you first so go to that code if you want to link a div or a file 
so you have to type a proper name or a full name of div and end the file so here in home i am linking the home file which i am using which we created now the name of that file is navbar dot html remember you have to save that file in that same directory now on our our team i am linking a div which i created first div id home as you know we denote id with hash and home now in contact us i am linking a contact us page which i created first if you don't watch that you can also see by clicking on the above pop up make sure you are typing same spelling as it is so i am control c pasting it in control v in contact us dot html now save it and go to that chrome and refresh the file you can check now contact us by clicking on contact us we are on the contact us page but here we can't see navbar because in contact us form we don't link navbar so click on back if we move downwards and click on our team it keeps you back on the top of the page and because i already linked this with the home div where we started the navbar so that's it this is today's class hope you like this if you really like this subscribe this channel and click on bell icon for more videos also like comment and share this video also if you have any questions you can ping me on facebook page link in description show some support on patreon link also in description thank you